And now what we'll do is we'll go back to the problem and let's find out what information we need to know to solve the problem. Do we need to know that Max went to the store? No, it doesn't help us, right? Do we need to know he was buying milk? No. It doesn't help us because does it tell us how much he spent? No. 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 For Ruby, do we know, have to know it was for Ruby? No. No, it doesn't really matter. He paid two cents. Do we need to know that? No. Absolutely. Isn't that part of the problem for us? Okay, so we, you know what? I have colors going all over the place. So let's do, um, we need to know he paid two cents, right? For the milk. Three cents. And what's the next important part that we need to okay. know? Uh, raise your three hand, though, cents. if you want to tell me. What's the next important thing? Raise your hand. Three cents. We need to know he paid three cents, right? He paid three cents. Yeah. So he paid two cents and three cents. How are we going to figure out the problem? We have to count all of the money. So do you want to do it with people, or do you want to do it with a picture? People. You want to do it with people? Picture. Okay. Let's do it with a picture. You know why? Because we have... We've, haven't used money yet in our word problems. So watch. How much is a penny worth? One cent. One cent. So I'm going to need somebody to come up here and help me out with this problem. Um, all right, David, come on. David, you can go right in here. So he spent, we, the first part we need is pay two cents. When you do the pennies, this is how I do pennies. Ready? I go like this. Make a circle and a P for penny. Ready? Pay two cents. Make two cents for us. Go ahead. You're going to make, just like I did, you're going to make two cents. So count so we can hear. Good. And how much did he pay? One. Did he pay one cent? How much did he pay? Two. Two cents. So make two cents for me. Then wait, that's one. One cent. Count for me. Two. Two. Good. Now put your P in there for penny. Okay, so that's one cent, two cent. And now how much did he pay for the red hot marshmallow squirters? Three. Three cents. So I need somebody to come up and draw three cents for us. All right, Anthony, come on, you draw for me. I do three cents. Well, I'm doing pennies for the cent. This this is one cent, one penny. You know that a penny equals one cent, right? So now you're doing no honey, do it. Stop a second. I'm sorry, that was my fault. Do it right here. Three cents. Go ahead. So we need three. Good. Don't worry about that. Just do the circles. One. Count for me. Two. No. Two. Good. And three. Great. Now you can put your P in there for pennies. Remember when I told you that? Always do the circle first, then go back and fill it in. Otherwise, you might get lost. Okay, don't worry about it, honey. It doesn't matter. Okay, ready? Now solve the problem for me. He paid two cents three. for milk and three cents for the red hot marshmallow squirters. How much did he spend? What do you have to do now? You have to, what do you have to do, Isaac? Uh, circle. No, what do you have to do, Mary? Uh, right exactly, count it for me, go. One, two, three, four, five. Five cents. How smart are you to use the unit of measurement? We're measuring how many cents he spent. So it was five cents. Very smart. Mary, come up and write five for me. Five cents. Good for you. And you would do the cent sign the same way I did the cent sign. Okay, I'll help you in a minute. Write, write your five first. And do you know how to make the cent sign? Do a letter C. Yay, fabulous. Everybody, let's read it. Ready, go. How much did he spend? Five. How much did he spend? Five, Five cents. cents. Brilliant. Stand up.